Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I want to talk about December favorites. I was going to do November favorites and it ended up being like one of those times where like you're in the middle of the month and it's kind of already late to do a November favorites. So yeah, I didn't want to mess it up for December favorites. There's a lot of things that I want to show you guys. There's about like six items that I want to actually just share with you guys. Um, so some of them are from the November favorites that I never got to do that I've been wanting to do and some of them are actually going to be from the December favorites. So I'm going to start off with my first product. And I've talked about this before, but now I actually got it in a bigger tube, and it's the Vaseline Cocoa Butter Deep Conditioning Lotion. Now the one that I had before was more of like a like a like a cream. I forgot which one was the one that I showed you guys, but it was just a little bit more of a thicker substance. So I actually got the lotion, which is in a bigger bottle, and I got this first on sale. So it was like five bucks when it's originally like eight to nine dollars. So let me just show you guys. This is it right here, the Vaseline Cocoa Butter Deep Conditioning. So what I do is I um, combine this with a little bit of Vaseline and then I just pretty much call it a day. Or if not, I use this for, I usually usually like, use the whole tub for like my body or after I usually get out of the shower. So this has been working very well. The smell is very light um, and the consistency is a little bit more better than um, the actual uh, cream that I had before. The cream was a little bit more thicker and that kind of made me break out a little bit and then it started to work a little bit. Um, and then I just kind of switched it around to the lotion. So now this one just works a little bit more better for at least my skin around the winter time. The next item is actually for the face, and I wanted to show you guys the St. Ives uh, Naturally Clear Apricot Scrub Blemish and Blackhead Control. Um, it's oil-free and has salicylic acid. Um, it's this the thing, the thing that I like about this is it, it is a scrub, so it does appear just a little bit more uh, thicker onto the face once you're... You kind of have to use your hands and then just mix it in with a little bit of water and then just kind of go out at your face because the beads, the beads are a little big. But other than that, I, I like to use this about like every three days just to exfoliate my skin. I don't use it every day because it's not good to exfoliate your skin with a scrub every single day because um, it can actually damage your skin. But it's oil free and that's what I actually like about it. It's natural. Well, I don't know if it's all natural. I take that back. <laughs> but um, it is dermatologist tested, 100% natural extracts, um, and it's America's number one scrub. Gently cleans pores and helps stop breakouts before they occur. Woo! So, I, I mean, I do notice a difference within my skin when I use it every two to three days. I do notice, like, you know, like, kind of like a, any dead skin that's kind of left out. Um, this pretty much gets rid of it. Um, this is more if you're having any type of skin problems, more of, like, ingrown hairs or any type of razor bumps. I think I've talked about this before, but it's the 10 skin. I just really want to bring it up because I started to really get a lot of ingrowns this season. I haven't even shaved anything like that, guys, so I have no idea where this is coming from. I get a lot of razor bumps now because, to be honest with you, I, I've said it before, like, I really shave, but I forget to wash out my clips half of the time when I shave. But if you guys look at this, it's, you know, for unslightly razor burns, ingrown hairs, and, um, so if you're, like, let's just say women or men, your guys are doing your bikini area, your underarms, your, you know, under your neck when you're washing your face and you're starting to get razor burns or bumps, um, this is definitely something that's made for both women and men. It says it right there, and it's the 8 ounce. This cost me about, like, 3 to 4 bucks. Um, I actually purchased it through Amazon. That's the cheap. That's, I think that's the place where I got it the cheapest, to be honest with you. So if this is something you'd be recommended, not that you would be recommended, but something that I recommend to you, <laughs> um, if you have ingrown hair. Like, and I, I, I would watch my old video regarding the ingrown hair because there is another method. This one leaves a little slight burning, tingling sensation. If you want something that doesn't really burn, um, or give you any type of that sensation, I would recommend watching my last video regarding grown hairs, which I'll probably see if I can just post it into the bottom, um, just so you guys can have that link to go to. Um, but this one also is just as effective. It just gives you just, you know, like a, a slight thing of a burn when you first put it on. A little tingle, a little tingle. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, okay? Pure alcohol. Um, I love to use this with a pretty much like a cotton swab, not a cotton swab, but like the, you know, the little cotton balls, um, put a little bit of alcohol on the cotton ball and I actually like to wipe my face with alcohol. I'd like to do this at least once a week. What happens is it, it really does penetrate your skin the most to really get the dirt out of all of your skin. So that's what I like most about this product. This one is just, uh, the reason why it's green, just in case if you guys are wondering, this is called, it's the winter green version. You could actually get the clear white one if you want, it's just as effective. But if you put this on a cotton, uh, on a cotton ball and then you try to wipe your face with the cotton ball with the alcohol over it, you will notice all the dirt in the actual cotton ball. I mean, I wash my face every single day and I wash it and I scrub it, so I do perfect it, but the, for some reason, this gets the deepest penetration out of washing, you know, out of really cleaning out my face once in a while. It just pretty much does get rid of my acne from what I really do think about it. The, the L'Oreal Skin Genesis Pore Minimizing Skin Smoother. This is what it looks like. I've been using this for about two to three years. Okay, this is what I do. 
I take a little bit of the Vaseline. Remember the Vaseline that I put on for my face? I take just a little bit of that and I put a little bit of this. Less than a dime size amount. Very, 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 very small amount. I would probably put on this. Let me place, you switch it to the side. You just pump like a little bit like this. And then I would just literally put it on both my fingers and just put it all, all over my face. And what it does, it just basically, it's supposed to minimize your pores, but I actually find it to just tighten my skin. It feels like it physically is closing your pores, but it doesn't visually look like it's closing your pores, if that makes any sense, guys. Like, I can feel it within my own skin and I actually don't break out. That's what I like about this. It, it, it tightens my skin enough so that dirt or anything doesn't really penetrate to go inside. So that's why I feel the tightness of it. But visibly, I don't see my pores getting smaller. I don't really think there's anything that's really made to get your pores, to get, really get your pores smaller, if that makes any sense. But I do feel the tightness of it and I do feel that it gets tight enough to the point where dirt can't even penetrate my skin, thus preventing me from getting breakouts. So that's what I love about this and I always mix this in with my uh, Vaseline just to get a little bit of moisture with that also. But I swear by this guys, I've been using this for about like two to three years and it's like made my life. I, I use it almost every morning, almost every morning. Um, but I get very nervous because <laughs> I don't like it to waste very fast and it's $20 guys. This thing is so expensive. Oh so, yeah, if there's one thing that I could really recommend that you guys get, it's the pretty much this tub. It's really good, very small by L'Oreal. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is a product that's more for your teeth. We all know that I'm a big teeth person, um, so one of the products that I really like to talk about would be Tongue. The product is from, called From Tongue. It's T-U-N-G, I believe. And um, I, I, you know, I received this product over the mail. I'm not gonna lie. I, you know, I was given a, a, a little, you know, thing by Tongue to if I can actually review this. Um, but to be honest with you, personally, I, it's, it, what it's supposed to do, you're supposed to put it on your, instead of you scrubbing your, your, your tooth, your toothbrush on your tongue, you can use this. And this is actually supposed to take any grime, it's supposed to work a lot more better than an actual toothbrush. Um, and it's supposed to help your, you know, anything that causes any bad breath or anything like that within your actual tongue. Hence tongue. <laughs> so, um, I've used it and it actually works pretty well, to be honest with you. I, what I notice the difference between using a toothbrush and a tongue, Probably not that significant of a difference, but you know, it really does work well and it also helps from, um, it's not straightforward to the point where it can help you, it'll make you gag. It doesn't do that, it doesn't give you that type of effect because it's actually angled. You guys can see it like that. So it's really good at just cleaning your tongue out and it really does help prevent all that bad breath from forming when you, you know, first brush your teeth. Now, if you guys want to use a, tooth, use a toothbrush, and that's great. Um, but you know, this being angular, every time I feel like I use my toothbrush, I always feel like I get this like gagging reflex and it just really messes it up. That's why I like tongue a little bit more better. Um, it just really does help out a little bit more and that's that's just my own honest per uh, personal uh, uh, experience with it. Um, if you guys have any more questions, uh, any comments, leave your comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys a lot more often. This is 2012, Happy New Year, Happy New Year guys. Oh my God, I'm just like all over the place. You see, I you think that my tongue twisting would be something I would leave in 2009. Look at that. I'm already thinking we're in 2009, guys. We're in already 2012. How many years am I far behind? So anyways, uh, if you guys have any comments, if you guys like the video, like the video, and I will talk to you guys soon. Ciao.